Welcome back to Marshall Remodel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Paul. The drywall is finally finished. They finished it up yesterday. Today is Sunday and they finished our drywall up Saturday. So tomorrow, Monday morning, Emily and I will begin to paint or prime and paint our entire house. Hopefully we can have that done by Tuesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we will uh, work on the ceiling, that uh, shiplap ceiling that I made. And hopefully by the weekend, we can be putting in lights and switches and outlets and all that kind of stuff. So, so I'm sure you guys are excited to hear this. I know I am. It's finally uh, the point where we're getting back to where we were two months ago. That's exciting. We have all our cabinets in. We have all of our... Uh, light fixtures, ceiling fans, cabinets, sinks, all that kind of good stuff is in. Um, our hardwood flooring for the upstairs is in route to our house, uh, should be here this week. But with all that being said, what you see behind me is what I've been working on the last couple days. Being that I have all this timber on my property, I decided to make a chainsaw mill. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. So my neighbor's moving. He had almost a brand new steel 661 chainsaw with a 36 inch bar. And he had made, see this white thing over here in the back by the skizzer, he had made um, a mill. And so I bought that uh, chainsaw from him a chainsaw sharpener a bunch of other chainsaw parts and he gave me all this uh all these mill parts that he made and i'm going to kind of make my own i'm going to take what he had um, i have ideas in my head where i how i think it'd be better so that's what we're working on and right now we're just i'm gonna got some blocks concrete blocks i'm leveling putting six by sixes across I got the two end ones set. I'm going to go ahead and do one in the middle and then I'm going to set these six inch I-beams on there. And so everything other than the chainsaw is, st is stuff that I had laying around. These I-beams I've had, um, I actually made my uh, boom for my skid steer and backhoe to lift my trusses up out of this six inch I-beam and this is some other ones. So this is just a bunch of stuff I've had laying around and we're gonna see if we can't make it into a chainsaw mill. So one last step here in leveling this whole thing out is um, putting another six by six in the middle. I just think three would be good. And uh, so I'll have a stationary mill and then I'm also gonna make myself kind of like a uh, Alaskan sawmill that I can take out in the woods. I just have so much ash and oak that's down and that can be cut up into boards and with lumber prices the way they are, I thought it'd be a good, uh, good thing to do and kind of fun too. So let's get this leveled out and then go to the next step. All right guys, well I'm making progress. I pretty much got the frame of this made and I got a little one and a quarter inch angle uh, tack welded on here to kind of hold these rails all in place. I got them all squared up using um, the Pythagorean theorem. So it is good and square. Here in the middle, I made a little block. You can see I angled, angled it here in here and I cut this so I could get my spacing um, the same here as I, at each end. This, These were bowed just a touch so I got those straightened out with that. So these here will be the rails for my trolley that'll carry my chainsaw. So there'll be two inch and a quarter angles welded onto here and that will carry be the trolley that carries my chainsaw. And then there will be some cross members across here 
that I can lay the logs across here, get them locked where I need them, and then I can go back and forth. And by keeping my chainsaw off to the side, I can put a pulley system on it to help pull it through the wood so I don't have to physically uh, do all the work. So my back's not the greatest, so I got a uh, little pulley system in my head that I think I'm gonna use, and uh, I think it's gonna work out good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all my cross members cut for here, and then we'll get those uh, tack welded on there, and we'll go from there. So like I said guys, this is all steel that I had laying around um, that I'd basically been moving for the last, I don't know, 5-10 years and decided to use it. You could definitely make the this whole thing out of wood. I've seen guys do it. Um, however, I wanted one that was built rock solid that could handle um, really big logs and eventually I could put it on a frame and make it a portable mill if I wanted. So. This will sit here um, until I decide I need to move it, and then at that point I'll probably put by an axle and make it a trailer. I understand there's lots of different ways that you can make these. I have no plans for this. I'm just kind of building this as I go, and uh, hopefully it, it turns out the way I hope it to. All right, guys, I got the frame of this thing all completed. Moving these. You can see I got all my cross members on there, welded on. So here's the center. It's about 20 inches each way from there. And that's so if I want to do a short, you know, four foot piece, I have three cross members to lay my piece on. And then the rest of them are 24 inches on center. So let's see, we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We got about 15, 16 feet. I mean, I'll never cut anything that long, but it gives me room that I can center my log here and I have plenty of room to move my trolley uh, before and after the log. So I'll get, I have plenty of uh, movement there. So now that I got the frame all complete and secured, I'm gonna start building my trolley. And it's gonna run on an inch in a quarter angle so that one will sit right there and then this one will sit in the middle of this i-beam and then we have these ball bearing casters that are cut at 45 to sit right on there so my it'll just slide nice and easy right on there my saw will sit here the blade will go out and then this way i can be right along the side of this and not ever have to be um, trying to manhandle this on my own. And then I can run a cable down along the bottom with a crank to help pull it through. So we're gonna make this uh, trolley, start cutting all the pieces for that. And then uh, I'm gonna have a crank on it so I can um, raise and lower the saw with a, with a hand crank. I got some 5 8 rod over there that uh, we'll use for that. So, pretty exciting. That's the frame of the trolley. So you can see somewhat how the chainsaw will sit. And I got a 36 inch bar on it. So I'll probably be able to do about a 30 to 32 inch diameter log. Um, I made this a little bit bigger. So if I ever wanted to put a bigger bar on here, I can. Chances are that'll never happen. The trolley will ride on these two I-beams right here. And then my logs will set on that so the frame is complete and the next step is to finish my trolley and then uh we'll go from there but all right guys well, stay tuned we're gonna get back at the house tomorrow and so we'll start releasing those videos and i will get uh, the rest of this build out to you as soon as i can i'm sure this is going to be interesting to some people some people won't be and that's fine um, I'm super excited about this because I've always wanted to make one. I've never done it. Um, hopefully it turns out the way I'm hoping. Um, but if it does, it should work pretty good. So.
appreciate you guys watching and we will catch you on the next video.